Hello everyone! Welcome to our new lesson. In our previous lesson, we talk about biotic and abiotic factors. We also tackle the concept of ecosystem. Now, based on our previous lesson, the concept of ecosystem focus on interdependence. It is more about relationship than just consumption. Now, for today's lesson, we're going to talk about ecological relationship in an ecosystem. But before that, let me share to you our learning target. First, we're going to describe an ecosystem and its ecological relationship. Then, we're going to differentiate symbiotic and non-symbiotic relationship. Now, do you have any idea what is ecology? When we say ecology, it is the study of the relationship between living organisms, including humans, and their physical environment. On the other hand, community ecology is the study of interactions among populations in a common environment. Now, what is an ecological relationship in an ecosystem? All organisms are connected to each other in an ecosystem. Organisms form relationship with each other because they are connected. Some organisms compete against each other for resources or space, while other organisms depend on each other for survival. Now, these relationships are called ecological relationship. Ecological relationship can be symbiotic or non-symbiotic. Now, what do you think is the difference between symbiotic and non-symbiotic relationship? In non-symbiotic relationship, the organisms do not live together nor are dependent on each other. The relationship is opportunistic but does not profit the organism when together. One of the examples of non-symbiotic is neutralism. When we say neutralism, it is the relationship between two species that do interact but do not affect each other. It is the interaction wherein the fitness of one species has absolutely no effect on another. Another example of non-symbiotic is predation. Predation is when one organism eats another organism for food. The organism that is eaten is called the prey. Another example of non-symbiotic is competition. It is the relationship between organisms that strive for the same resources in the same place. It happens when organisms compete for resources such as food, space, and territory. There are two different types of competition. It can be intraspecific or interspecific competition. When we say intraspecific competition, it occurs between members of the same species. On the other hand, Interspecific competition happens between the members of different species. Now give at least three examples of non-symbiotic relationship and tell us why do you consider it as non-symbiotic. Now let us proceed with symbiotic relationship. When we say symbiotic relationship, it is a type of relationship which describes two different species that live near each other and both derive benefit from the relationship. One of the examples of symbiotic relationship is commensalism. It is a relationship in which one organism benefits while the other is neither health nor harm. For example, orchids that grow on the bark of a tree. The tree gains no benefit from the barnacle, but the orchids get shelter and space. Commensal is the one that benefits from the relationship. And in our example, it is the orchid. Another example of symbiotic relationship is parasitism. It is a relationship in which one organism benefits and the other organism is harmed, but not always killed. The organism that benefits is called the parasite, and the one that is harmed is the host. Parasites can be ectoparasites such as mosquito, ticks, fleas, and leeches. Ectoparasites live on the surface of the host. Parasites can also be endoparasites such as intestinal worms that lives inside the host. Another example of symbiotic relationship is mutualism. It is a relationship in which both species benefit, so it is a give-and-take relationship. For example, the relationship between bees and flowers. Bees receive food in return for transporting the pollen. 
give at least three examples of symbiotic relationship and tell us why do you consider it as symbiotic. Now before we end this lesson, I would like you to remember that individual organisms live together in an ecosystem and depend on one another. In fact, they have many different types of interaction with each other, which is what we call the ecological relationship, and many of these interactions are critical for their survival. So that's it. See you in our next lesson. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this.